Hello. In this movie, we will show how to use Trismove Data Center to control a process via World Wide Web. Our goal is to connect to a control system by means of a common browser. As a control system, we will use Trismode Real-Time Monitor RTM. RTM. Uh, the RTM contains two channels for reading and writing and is launched on PC with two network adapters having the IP addresses as follows. This one and this one. On our PC we have previously installed the following software. First, Trismode SCADA HMI development system of the professional line. The second, Trismode data center. And the third, virtual Java machine available at this website. And for your comfort, we will launch the RTM data center and the browser on one PC. First of all, we launch Trismode development system and using the icon located at the left upper corner, we create a new project in easy style. Open the created node for editing and type IP address and then set flex reception and sending for the first network adapter. Thereby we will launch Trismode data center using the second network adapter with the IP address with the last number 27. Let's continue our project development from the layer sources receivers where we describe the internal signal source sinusoid. Drag and drop it to the group channels of our node RTM1. Here we create a new channel class hex16 with the name channel number 2. So our node RTM1 is now configured to be used as a control system sample. In order to see the sinusoid in a browser and to control it by the bits of the channel 2, we have to create a special node embedded console in the project tree. Let's do it. Okay. Open the created node for editing and set flex reception and sending for the second network adapter. Draw your attention to the fact that we don't set the IP address for this node because it is not required. We are able to connect to the control system from any PC in the net. Let's create a new component in the group channels of the node embedded console. Panel. Open this component for editing and set the screen resolution as this one. We drag and drop to create the first argument for our panel connected to the channel sinusoid from the node RTM. This argument will allow as to see our sinusoid generator remotely. As for the second argument, we create it manually. Let's change our type to in out and data type to bool and link it to the attribute input value of the channel number 2 from node RTM1 input value. This argument will allow us to control by the channel remotely too. 
Now we begin to draw our panel. HMI. Let's visualize the sinusoid on the panel. For this purpose, we place trend and create a curve by drag and drop for the first argument from the list. Let's tune the created curve. Change color, thickness and all other settings kept by default. Let's continue. We insert the graphic element XR button. Let's link its internal attribute binding to the second argument from list. Set value 1 and type to the attribute text on off. After draw a volumetric sphere. And set dynamization for its internal attribute base color, as you can see on the screen. Now we should save our project as data center on the disk. and compile it for the real-time monitor too. Let's launch the node ATM under profiler control. Uh, using the view item of the main menu, we open the component window. in order to see the changes of our channels, sinus and channel number 2. Now let's launch data center. Stop. Select the server item in the main menu. Then select settings and then web console. We can see that web server port equal 82 and proxy 8080. After that let's launch data center again. Now we insert our node embedded console to the data center by means of selecting tab web console. Pressing button ins on keyboard. Ins. Type name. And select dbp file for our project. Data center. Embedded console data center with extension dbb. Press button OK. Thus, data center is ready. At last, let's launch browser. In our case, it's Microsoft Internet Explorer. It may uh, also be any other Java-enabled browser. Let's type in the address bar IP address for the second network adapter and number of port of the web console. Press button Enter.
wait for Java Match and Loading and launch the system clicking on the running main icon. Now we can see the sinusoid and we control the color of the volumetric sphere with the help XOR button simultaneously comparing these actions with the component window. Change to 1. Press on this button again. 0 and change color. Thus, in a few minutes we have made a successful connection to the control system via www by means of a common browser and we have all abilities for remote monitoring and control. Note, in practice we should use separate PCs for real-time monitors, data center and browsers. Also note that for data center we should have a static IP address for internet. And don't forget about hackers in the net. Now we finish our movie and thanks for your attention. Bye.